Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good today. This video makes 18 copyrighted images being used underneath Fairy Sack for educational purposes. Took a few days off, recharge the batteries. Um, wasn't much going on, but uh, Patricia had a show yesterday. Her Flat Earth and Other Junk. Uh, show number 187. Just a side note, 187 is homicide in police code. I'm sure nothing was meant by it that she chose uh, some Wiccan dude to interview on number 187. But anyways, um, yeah, she uh, seems to be running out of people that will say yes to an interview, so she has to get real desperate. Interview this guy named R. Arwin. Arwin only has about 350 subs. I have more subs than him on my main channel. Has very few views on his video, so she's really reaching. In fact, she's interviewing people more like herself, as you will find out. Yes, more like herself. I did not stutter or misquote myself. Um, let's get started right away with their introduction of this creepy guy. You are one of the most unusual people in Flat Earth for a couple of reasons. One of them is the way you look. Another is the way you speak. And you have very interesting beliefs. You have visions that oftentimes come true. You're a prolific writer. You're just um, a very interesting guy. So He's just a very um, creepy guy who tries to pass himself as off as a Christian. Like many people in the flat earth community. You know? <laughs> There's many of these people running around. Pretending to be Christians. And this guy's no exception. So, let's get started right away with this nonsense. It, this guy's real creepy. I mean, he claims to have visions all throughout his life. He claims he's seen Eric Dubay in 2011, a video of Eric Dubay in 2011, before Eric Dubay did a video on Flat Earth. It's just utter nonsense. Let's listen. A video of Eric Dubay in 2011. I don't know if that makes sense because I don't know if he was even posting videos back then. But yeah, that's what you get when you get entangled with these visions. You get to see things in the future. and. The first memory I have of really seeing something from Flat Earth, it was in 97 on a video that this guy showed me on his phone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, smartphones didn't come out until 2000, and you'd be lucky to get a video off of YouTube and play it. <laughs> or any video for that matter. This guy's just full of shit. He claims to be from the dark side, the dark world, the dark energy. That tapped into him, and he knows all this shit. It's just fucking ridiculous, utter nonsense. He's a total Wiccan. As you will find out, a Wiccan trying to pass himself off as a Christian. <laughs> now, remember, Patricia stages these shows very carefully. In this next segment, she's going to act like uh, she just seen this ring on this guy's finger. Can you please tell me about this ring? Bullshit, because she's watched the guy's videos, and he's showing the ring before. So she just wants to make sure you all see it, and she's going to rub it right in your face. Let's listen. Wait. 97. 97. He showed yes. it to you on his phone. So was this part of a vision? Oh, wrong clip. Let's go. You were speaking. I saw a ring on your finger. And I know that working with metals and mm -hmm. jewelry making is something that you've done in the past. Tell us yes. about that. All right. Well, uh, oh. show everybody while you're speaking so it comes up on the monitor. Yes. Okay. Well, this is a ring. It's, it's a religious symbol mm -hmm. of myself that I designed. It stems from what came out of the Wicca period. And if you look really carefully, you notice that it's actually two pentagrams in opposition of each other, merged. Now in somebody would say, oh no, there it is, truth, right in your face. Flat Earth and other hot potatoes promoting Wiccan, Arwen promoting Wiccan you uh, are. witchcraft. But you that's are. not what that ring means, right? No. But, but I guess it, it does line up with certain elements, and that is that 
I consider myself a Christian, although there's probably a lot of people out there that say that's ridiculous because of certain Gee, aspects I wonder that why. I believe in. I, for one, believe that uh, and many people are just going to hit the brakes right now. I believe that <laughs> no magic shit. is not illegal. I think that... He believes black magic is not illegal. <laughs> This guy calling himself a Christian. Fucking utter nonsense. And people are like, oh, this guy's great. Well, Patricia, you find wonderful people to interview. He's a great flat earther. I'm subbing to him. Well, ain't very many people sub to him because they're seeing through their shit. You see all the thumbs down she got. 63, 97 up. I'm going to put the link down below. Make sure you all visit this page and thumb it down. You know, they need to get the message. We ain't going to put up with this kind of shit. This kind of stage bullshit. And this is all stage. The whole ring. She was going to put this in. She knew she was going to do this before she interviewed the guy. Now, if you notice when he showed off his rings, people are going in the, and crazy in the chat room fucking laughing at his creepy fingernails. Let's listen to that. Probably. Tell us about the nails because there's been some questions in the chat and we don't want even live viewers, uh, I mean, excuse me, viewers later to be saying, what's up with the nails without a good answer here? Yeah, I actually cut this nail by a centimeter. Your nails are very strong, obviously. A centimeter? What does it fucking matter? I mean, this is utter bullshit. <laughs> and I mean, what guy wears freaking long nails like that? Let's listen to his excuse for it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, nails are great. Nails are our natural tools. Mm hmm Just like animals. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just like animals. That's why I removed the nails from my cats. And I can use it to scratch. It's very handy. I even use it for cooking. Uh, <laughs> you heard it. He uses it for cooking. Uh, I can't I can't believe Patricia didn't bail out on this interview like a minute and ten minutes in you know an hour and ten minutes in because uh, this guy is very creepy but um, he's right up Patricia's alley you know if you guys have noticed in the background you'll see this little uh, cup here this pewter cup or whatever it is I asked a question in the chat room. I says, is that a urinal full of piss? And does he drink uh, his own urine like you, Patricia? <laughs> oh, man. Let's listen to their excuse or his excuse for this. Uh-oh. Let's see. Let me fast forward it here. It's like I missed a clip there. Let's listen to his about excuse. Which is a mystery as well. The nails were a mystery. The ring is a mystery. Mm -hmm. And also behind you, it looks like a pewter pitcher on top of a bed ah. on a dish. And that is very old world. Like somebody would fill it with water and use it to bathe with because they didn't have running water in their home. Yes. Why do you have it? It's, it's a thing that I do. I guess that you have this fantastic backdrop with all these awesome things that are very much in line with a certain style. Very, uh, how do you say, like kind of 50s, I guess? Yeah, it's 50s, 60s or retro-y sort of. Yes, yeah. but very in line. And what I do is I basically, it's like a game. Yeah, it's I all guess. a game. Uh, I put in these separate objects in the background as, well, as an Easter egg, I guess. Mm -hmm. And... Uh-huh, she, uh, Easter eggs, uh-huh. She understands all about Easter eggs. She gets it. Like this rainbow here. You know, the Rainbow Coalition. And this music machine. Remember this music machine. You know, you got all kinds of music machines. You got the cars. You got drums. You know, you got guitars like the guitar over here on the right side of her screen. That's a music machine, too. Pay attention to this music machines. And her Easter eggs, the Smiths. He's a homosexual. He pushes the gay leadership agenda, you know. The same thing Patricia pushes. This is all Easter eggs, carefully staged. Mark's even got an Easter egg. He holds on to it all the time. Let's take a look at Mark's Easter egg. There is Mark's Easter egg. Pay attention to this. This band, it's round, looks like a globe, doesn't it? Some of you think it looks like a globe, but it's Mark's 
interpretation of his enclosed world. You're supposed to be living on the inside of that little globe of his. That's Mark's vision of flat earth. You live inside of the globe, not outside of the globe. So you got that. And you got Patricia's guitar and her music machine. Now I'm going to show you here. Let me widen the screen. I'm going to show you here. This is the uh, Economist photo from the magazine, 2015. Many of you have seen it. Take a close look. The music machine. The guitar. The Easter egg world. This isn't by mistake. This is all staged. Remember I told you about Mark's uh, microphone. There it is on the left side, or your right, bottom right. There it is. It's got that, that ring around the middle of it. All these are props these guys got. They're Easter eggs, carefully staged. Let's go back to here. This is why you see Patricia's big grin. Uh-huh. I get it. I get it. So let's listen to the rest of this. Because this guy says this is just something he does all the time, but then he contradicts himself. Listen carefully. I have four of them, and uh, they are basically the four elements. And so we the, have water there. Yes, exactly. And it is based, it's kind of a, a throwback at the, the Wiccan tradition, which I learned that any Wicca has, and that is here. A throwback to the Wiccan tradition. He's not a Christian. He's a Wiccan. You got a lot of these uh, people in the flat earth community that pass themselves off as Christians. Because apparently you can't be an atheist and be a flat earther. According to some channels around here. Sirius has four tools that symbolize the elements. And that is uh, a staff for air. A a knife or a sword for fire, a, a pitcher or a chalice for water, and a tablet or a crystal or dice, I use them, <laughs> for earth. So I just roulette them around. Mm. I bought this thing especially for the show. So. Did you hear him? He says this is something he always does, but then he just contradicted himself and he says, I just bought this special for the show. Because they love planting their little Easter eggs in the background. A lot of channels do this. Sometimes they'll have wordings like a poster of something. And there'll be a word in it. Well, if you check the word, it usually comes to 33 or 44. These ain't by accident, people. They stage their scenes uh, for a reason. You know? Everything's staged for a reason. So, moving right along. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to go over here because here's Patricia. Now let's listen to her because she's talking about the TV set. What's going on? Uh, Daniel Reza says that most people I grew up knew that TV was BS. Wow, you must have grown up in a really good place because it just seems like everybody, even at night if you drive by houses, you can see that light glowing the TV it's replaced a fireplace the glowing, it's glowing. The TV. It's the center the glowing light of the TV you know Patricia when she was on Nathan's show the other day she tried she tried to tell people all oh, that flat earth resets guys probably watching his cable TV right now and then Zoe chimed in he goes oh no he's one of those guys that claims he cut the cable but he still has Netflix I watch very little TV what I do watch is probably uh, the first 48. It's about the, you know, the real murders that take place and they investigate them on TV. That's probably the only thing I really watch for sure every Thursday. I'll even watch the runway or the reruns because it's about the only thing on TV is real. But let's, let's, let's listen to the hypocrisy of her. She's talking about the glowing TV replaced the, glowing, the glow of the fireplace. Well, here is Patricia and Mark on their show, secret show, just last week when Mark was at Patricia's house. Let's listen to what they have to say here. Uh, what, what movies are we going to watch tonight? Tonight, are we watching one one? We're going to watch two. Are we watching two? Movie marathon. Eight, nine, so, so let me guess, Patricia, you watch your movie marathons on your uh, laptop. 
you and Mark watched it on your laptop, not on your big screen TV that takes up your place in your living room. You're a hypocrite, Patricia. Let me guess. You ain't got cable TV. You ain't got Netflix. You got Amazon Prime, huh? You see the hypocrisy here, folks? She's only a flat earther by name and in it for the money. She doesn't care. That's why she has people like this clown on. Now, Patricia asks this guy a simple question, and he can't even answer that without giving you the fucking runaround. Let's listen. So what about reincarnation, and what about all the other things? So you believe there's heaven and hell, and then other dimensions too? It's an awful lot to, well, you know what, why not, right? It could all, how do we know? <laughs> how do well, we know? I try to find out uh, as I was going. It was one of my missions, my personal missions, to figure out what was really there. Because when I started this out, I did, I did not at first believe in heaven. I was an atheist. And then, <laughs> but at the same time, I also... This, this guy can't make up his mind what he is. I used to be an atheist, a Wiccan, a, now I'm a Christian. But I'm a Christian and believes in my wicked ways, you know, just utter nonsense. And Patricia puts these guys on. He can't even answer a simple question. Patricia asks if there's a heaven and a hell in his world. And he goes on and on and doesn't even answer the question. A simple yes or no answer was all he needed to do. But let's uh, listen to something about uh, dark energy here. Uh... I don't think I got the clip up there. No, I don't have the clip. But anyways, one last clip here. Um, two last clips. Some advice from Pat. A lot of people uh, really like you. And a lot of people will maybe be put off by uh, you telling your story um, about your past. But I think a lot of people, if they told their whole past, they might put people off too. If they like you, Patricia. That's why you keep lying 24-7 in every video. So why don't you take your advice and go look in the mirror and tell yourself that, Patricia. And then come on here and tell us the truth instead of lying to us all the time. And cl interviewing clowns like this guy who actually you agree with. You agree with everything this guy says because you're a Wiccan. Now, let's listen. Many people think Patricia's smart, but let me tell you, she isn't smart. You guys, go back. I told you about that lady that had that uh, PhD or whatever it was, and she was so proud of it, and we're walking to her car, and she got a flat tire, you know, and I see the nail on top of the car in between the fender well and the, you know, the tire. I can see it. I said, I see the nails right up there at top. She goes, well, if the nail's up top, how come it's flat down there at the ground and not up the top at where the tire is? So then I had to kick the top of the tire to show the top of the tire is flat just as well as the bottom of the tire. <clears throat> and people think Patricia's smart. You know what she said during the Houston flood? She, she goes, they should have had the, water, the helicopters out there with the buckets taking the water out of the river. <laughs> uh, I and others just started laughing. I said, hey, lady, that's like taking a drop of water out of the ocean and saying the level lowered. Or the level lowered, yeah. Just utter bullshit. So let's listen to Patricia here. A really interesting comment. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, Omar Corona says this. Get ready, people. We have a TV in our heads that's showing others what we want within their minds without us even saying anything. I'm going to have to think about that a little bit. <laughs> there you go, folks. Have a good day. <laughs>